how can what is called neuroplasticity help people cope with anxiety, stress, depression? Well, this is what inspires such great hope, I think, Pat, and it's really, I'm so pleased to, to have the opportunity to talk about it on World Mental Health Day. It's a term that uh, a lot of people don't know. However, it has been around for about 20 years now. So it's something that I'm really hoping is getting more into the general consciousness, if you like. It is the brain's capacity to rewire itself, that it is malleable, it's plastic, and that our brains are plastic throughout our lives, that it doesn't end in childhood. So the old model, if you like, of the chemical brain of somebody is born with anxiety or stress and isn't that unfortunate but there's not much you can do about it is now scientifically not the case where we can see a transition of somebody who has actually worked on their brain like a muscle like we go to the gym to get fit we train our brains are no different so it inspires huge hope okay for now anyone. i can understand in a post stroke situation where people have lost certain capacities yes and then by working very hard over uh, yeah. the, the weeks and months and even years, they can get some of those lost capacities to return. Yes. It might be the use of a limb or the use of um, a hand or fingers or whatever it, it might be. It might be improved speech. It might be all of, of those things. Yeah. yeah. And you kind of think of that as the body training itself, but you're saying it's really the it's brain. It's the brain is taking over. It's, it's like literally the old uh, pathways that are no longer in use are being, new, are being realigned with new um, pathways, new the, in neuroscience they call it neurons that wire together fire together and how it works for mental health is what's really interesting because it's all to do with the power of your thoughts so when you start to think new thoughts if you change a, an old negative thought for example I am not good enough into I am good enough what happens is that that actually starts to create a new neural pathway in your brain but the way, the approach that I take, and I think it's really important to say this, is that it's not just wishful thinking. It's not just the power of positive thinking and, you know, saying it enough times will make it true. It's actually looking for evidence within your life that back up that new thought.